full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Babylon Leather. Who is Babylon Leather? I actually don't know a lot about them. I've had maybe two or three emails between us, but uh, they run a website which features a lot of DIY leather craft kits. Think like the starter kits you would get as a beginner uh, with all the tools and pre-cut materials that you need to make a small pouch or a pair of moccasins or something like that. Um, they take that concept and take it to the next level, uh, it looks. Um, they have small projects like that, like, like wallets, but they seem to focus on larger, more complex kits like bags and backpacks and purses and messenger bags and doctor's bags. It looks like some pretty cool stuff. Uh, anyways, they contacted me and asked if I would like one of their kits to make a video with, and since it's the uh, content creator thing to do, I said sure. Um, I looked through the catalog and actually had kind of a difficult time deciding, uh, but I settled on a kit for a chest sling bag. Uh, sometimes I've seen these called crossbody bags. Crossbody bags? Yeah. Uh, but anyways, I know these things are kind of an in-hot accessory right now. Um, so, uh, no money exchanged hands, but they did send me a free kit, and the only ask was that I include their name in the title or the description. So here's the box as I have received it. Uh, let's open it up and see what's inside. Alright, you are seeing it at the same time I am. Let's see what's in here. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, by the way, um, I chose green. Let's check out the leather here. Hmm. All right. Okay. So there's your main panels here. It's genuine leather. Oh, it's kind of afraid what happens if they send it to me and it's it's like pleather or, or some sort of fake stuff but that's uh it's genuine so here's our pieces our panels looks like they've already done some skiving on it edges that's nice all right it's got a zipper pocket and i was wondering how they did this so it looks like it's glued already glued on there but uh it's just not stitched yet Stitching is left up to you. That's kind of cool. Got your hardware. I can always use another one of these. They give you a pair of clippers. Um, and there's your thread. Well, a couple of needles. Some clips. Presumably to hold panels together while you stitch them, I guess, in case you don't have a stitching pony. All right. Uh, one thing I am not seeing is any sort of instructions. As you can see, they've already punched all the holes there for you. That makes it convenient. Okay. All right. Um... Yeah, so there's no instructions. You know what? It might be on their website. Okay, so I checked their website, and they actually have a YouTube channel that has videos of their tutorials for their kits. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't find a video for this particular kit. That's okay, because it's a fairly simple build. Um, I'm So I'm just going to go off the pictures on the website. Uh, but one thing that might not be apparent is that you're going to build this thing inside out. You're going to get it all sewn together and then when it's done you're going to basically reach inside and turn it inside out. Um, the needles that they give you, uh, these are really small um, at least for my fingers so I am not going to use the kit supplied needles, I'm going to use my regular needles that I use in my other videos. So anyways, I'm going to start up here on this panel, 
turn this around. Once I get past this last hole here, I'm going to backstitch it a few. Lord, can you guys hear that? Sewed inside out. Let's see how easy this is going to be. there. Okay, 
apologies for that. Did that thing go in? <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna have to pause while I wait for, uh, I guess, them to get done with this stuff out here. So I had to take a break there. There was, uh, we got some lawnmower landscaping people out there. I swear you would think that we lived in a sprawling palatial estate, uh, given how long that they've been out there. Probably about an hour and a half. Um, we don't. Uh, we live in quarter acre lots in the middle of the suburbs. And I'm actually curious. Hold on a second. I'm wondering if these are actually solid. Yeah, those are solid brass. That's nice. Uh, they could have just um, sent you some plated junk like some suppliers do that I won't mention. Okay, so there you have it. That is Babylon Leathers uh, Men's Leather Chest Sling Bag DIY Kit. Uh, it's fairly simple to put together. You're basically just sewing together panels and putting together a couple of screws. Uh, the leather is soft. Uh, it is comfortable to wear. I started making this last night. I finished up filming this morning. And then this afternoon, I was actually at a trampoline park with my daughters and I was using this to hold uh, two cell phones, a, my keys, my wallet, a knife, and a bunch of other stuff, and I was bouncing around on trampolines, and this was working just fine. The sling that it comes with is actually too long for me to, to wear as a, a, a chest sling, so um, I had to actually wrap it around and use a keeper like that. Uh, so I'll need to find a more permanent solution to, uh, to fix that, although I might marry it with one of my uh, military surplus AK-47 slings like you've seen me use in one of my other videos. I think that might actually look pretty well with the OD green of the bag. My only critique is that there were no instructions uh, or a video for that, but that might just be because they haven't had a chance to, uh, to post it yet. Uh, but you can always use this video. Anyways, uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I much appreciate that, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.